So I woke up this morning feeling great. I looked at the total BUSD that was rewarded and I saw, hey, $17.3 million has been distributed. And yesterday was at like $14 million to end off the night, if I'm not mistaken. So we're doing great. I was not thinking nothing of it. For real, for real. And I kept getting comments like, yo, I'm having a hard time selling. And it was on my heart, how to sell video. And they were saying, manual gas fee. And I'm like, I don't know what y'all talking about. Like... Customer service. Give me straight to the bits, bro. You now have more options for how to get help. Customer service. Customer service. Customer service. When it, usually when it tells me manual gas fee, I just put more BNB and then it goes through. Or I might set, set the slippage a little bit higher than 17 to like 20 and it goes through. I haven't sold any EGC recently, but I was like, but I was still feeling good this morning. I was like, shoot. I'm finna go look at my wallet. I'm finna go look at the price. I'm finna go look at the holders. Because I know we are just good. And we finna be listed in about... I thought... Hey, uh, yesterday was Tuesday. And then there was Monday. We didn't get listed on nothing. So I was like, Wednesday might be the day. If not Wednesday, then tomorrow. But we're going to get listed eventually. And then this happened. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, bro. Yes, bro. We dropped below $1 billion in market cap. A well sold a huge, humongous bag. If you don't believe me, I'll show you right here. $3 million worth of EGC. And this 1.5, if I'm not mistaken, of a million of EGC was sold yesterday as well. And there was another $1.5 million sold of EGC. And th this was all in the course of a day. Uh, night and they, they just wanted to ruin my sleep man i woke up and i woke up the price was right here what's up everyone it's the script of legend bringing y'all another youtube video man we gonna be all right guys we gonna be all right i'm gonna let y'all know the good news all right before we get to more bad news we're gonna look at some more good news the good news is we have 79,577 holders, which means we are less than 430 holders away from hitting a 80K within a month. So that is great news to hear. More great news to hear. The exchanges will be coming out shortly. We will be listed on those exchanges shortly. And if you didn't watch my videos on the six possible exchanges we could be listed on, you better go check it out. I might leave a card under the video so y'all can check that thing out because I know yeah, it's, it's spicy over there. It's spicy. We Evergrow coin is okay. It's okay, guys. We have a lot more stuff that has to come out. Include not just we have we're giving reward BUSD. So they're giving us eight percent of what they was holding. I appreciate it. I appreciate the money. I appreciate the donation before they left. And then we also have the utilities. We have NFT marketplace and we got the content creator platform coming soon. So that we got some stuff coming out, guys. We got some stuff coming out. We got the play to earn game. We got the D app and swap exchange staking pool. Speaking of play to earn game, I'm gonna be streaming tomorrow, not today, not later today, tomorrow, and I mean tomorrow afternoon slash evening. So it'll be around like five or six p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So check that out if y'all have time. I'm gonna leave it in the comment section down below so that y'all can have something to reference too. Hi guys, Sam here. Just want to do a quick video about the price action we've seen for the last couple of days. So uh, yesterday basically we saw uh, one, one big whale, someone who had made millions of dollars. And again, we don't criticize people, even if they're leaving the project very, very early. You have to remember that some people might have invested a relatively modest amount in the first day or two. And now they're sat on millions of dollars. That's life-changing money for them. We're not going to judge them. People will join the project along the way. Um, and this pro problem will become less and less. So effectively, to explain yesterday, in one go, uh, one of the uh, early investors sold $600,000. And then they continued to sell. Um, and then what happened was we had so much website activity at that point that the website crashed again. We've upgraded servers twice now. Um, and then we saw about 2,000 new wallets join us in the space of about an hour and a half, which is unprecedented. And it was quite obvious to us that people had been sat waiting for this opportunity to buy. So what happened really is that that Wales Holdings then got much more healthily distributed over 2,000 new holders. And we're basically seeing the same wallet doing the same today. Um, so they've, they've sold big into the market. Um, and now we're seeing people starting to eat that up and new investors join us. Remember, for the long-term health of the project, we need this. We need those new investors. I think we're close to 80,000, so the amounts are going up 
at crazy le at rates now. And it's actually thanks to these dips. So these dips will help us in the longer term. I appreciate they can be a bit stressful in the short term. The other thing to remember is the price drops are never relative to what's sold. You know, a, a, a whale selling out maybe a million dollars has caused a price drop that's far, far more significant than a million dollars. But then on the flip side, if, if a thousand wallets then buy a million dollars worth back, it will recover very, very quickly in a relative amount, even though, you know, adding hundreds of, million of millions of dollars to the market cap. So I hope that explains a little bit more about uh, why these things happen, why we don't personally, like, care too much about them in the team. I do appreciate they can be stressful for investors. Um, so obviously, if you're in it for the long term, it shouldn't be a problem because you're just getting more rewards. So hang tight, guys. Enjoy the rewards. And I mean, there's not too much I can say. I think we all know what I'm, what I'm, I want to say, what I'm planning to say, and what I have been saying for the longest. The wells are going to sell. Everybody, every, almost every well gets out around five zeros. Like that's just common. Wells get out around five zero mark, and then that's when you see like what coins are really, truly like real coins. Like can they, can they grow past the wells that got in at the the buy at the original point at the launch price or will they stay stagnant and will they drop and now if ever go coin is one of those coins that are going to go up we just have to wait we have exchanges coming out we have utilities coming out we have audits coming out so the audits when i'm saying audits i'm saying like the audits are going to help even like strengthen the security of the coin but just remember they already have two audits out so Doing another one is really pointless. It's just to prove to the people that, like, you can't change the code. From my understanding, you can't change the code once the cryptocurrency is made. <laughs> but the audit is just so that pe new people, the new people that come in, have a little bit of security. And just keep in mind, whenever we dipped, we, have, we, we did almost buy it up and eat it up. The only problem was with us trying to buy and eat it up was there was another well that would sell so i know you're thinking how many other wells are they going to that's going to sell well you can do your own research and you can come down here and see there's a, plenty of wells there's plenty of people that are holding over a million dollars worth but just keep in mind there's other people there's people outside of me and outside of just evergrow or just like youtube in general who are just going to hold this coin until the very end I'm one of those people that are just going to hold this coin to the very end. And you don't want to, wells that don't want to be here to keep holding their earnings. Because that's just not, nah, that's not. Nah. If you don't want to be here, go ahead and leave. But if you're a well that wants to be here, I welcome you to stay. And I appreciate you staying. And we are all going to sit at the same fancy round table with the Shebas, with the Safe Moons, with the Bitcoins, and the other people. But thank you guys for watching. Remember, stream is happening tomorrow at 5 or 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'll check y'all out tomorrow. Thank you guys for watching. Script the Legends signing out. Peace. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah!